Hey you guys and welcome back to Leper Plants. Today I have, well first of all I want to say sorry. I've noticed that I haven't posted a video in quite some time. Um, not that I haven't done anything with my plants because I've been extremely busy with them. But because of that, I was down in the cellar today and this spider plant needs water. See how droopy he is? This is a curly spider. He should curl like this, but he should have more standing up up here as well. He does not. Another issue that tells me he needs watered is these yellow leaves. And hear that? Those are dry yellow leaves. So when your leaves are making sounds like that, um, those are dry. If your plant was overwatered and it was getting yellow leaves, normally, I can't recall any time that my leaves crumble. Um, they actually are like soft and mushy and, and just totally opposite. So underwater means your leaves are droopy. You've got yellow leaves in here that are crispy. Um, and then I went ahead and I pulled this out of the pot. I already started watering it just a little bit so you can see the different coloration in here. But I wanted to bring this up because I have a lot of friends that will send me messages asking me, um, do I overwater it, underwater it? Well, in pictures, it's really hard to tell. Um, so I'm always like, pull the plant out of the pot. And what I mean by that is literally take the whole thing out of the pot. Um, flip the pot over, get your plant out, show me the dirt. That is really what I need to see. Um, as you can tell, all this dirt in here, it's hard as a rock. It's dry. So... What I have going on down here, I normally water, um, sorry, my lights for the plants just went off. I normally water in my kitchen sink. Tonight I'm doing it in this container. Um, but what I do is I put this, I put the plant back in the container. So it's now in its actual pot. Let me drain some water. It's in its actual pot. The pot I put into the bowl of water. And then go ahead and fill that bowl all the way to the rim of the glass container. Make sure that you put your plant in the bowl before you fill with water, or you're gonna fill your bowl too far, set your plant in there and it's all gonna come over the top. Um, but because this plant is so dry, I'm gonna let it sit in here for about, I don't know, five, 10 minutes. I'm gonna come back in, I'm gonna check the water level again. I will probably have to put more water in at least one more time. And how I, what I do, or what I look for, I guess, to see when my plant is wet enough, is I will pull, i stop putting this down in here. Um, let me move the camera to you. I will pull the leaves apart and I will look at the soil. Right now we're dry. When I see any speck of like darker dirt or like the sides are finally, I don't have this gap here anymore, it's finally like softening and falling to the side, then I will pull it from the water. Um, and by doing that, ooh, sorry, you guys. Okay, we're just going to be a little crooked. Um, by pulling it out in time and not letting the whole top get wet, that prevents you from getting gnats. So in the house, I really try to bottom water. Bottom water as much as you can. Um, but I just wanted to show you, this is a curly spider plant. And one issue you can have with this plant and many other plants is underwatering. If you're like me and you go like a month and a half without watering, this is what your spider plant's gonna look like, okay? And I have three varieties. They all look the same when they, when they need watered. Sad, droopy, lose their like shiny collar, and their baby spiders <laughs> look like they're dead, okay? So keep that in mind if you have spider plants and you're like, what is wrong with it? Overwater, underwater. Um, I think of underwater, crispy leaves, like the fall. You know, like all the leaves are drying out on the trees, they're falling. Um, that's because they're not getting any more rain, you know, rain, rain comes in spring. So, um, kind of how I think about it. So underwater, dry, crispy leaves. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you so much for watching.